Hello everybody, this is Froglegged, and I'm so excited! I have been waiting on this capture card to get here just so that I could play this game. And here it is, we're gonna be playing... I'm waiting for the title. Harvest Moon Magical Melody! I don't know what to say about this game, I just... I, I enjoyed it a lot. But, I am not quite looking forward to the beginning because... I did have a failed recording of this, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna record this first episode or two again. And so let's just go ahead and get started. The load times for the cutscenes in the beginning are really long, but that's really the only time the cutscenes are long. I'm gonna I'm gonna set my birthday as my real birthday. It's in the summer, and I really am a boy. Just in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> so I am a boy, bro. I am a boy born in the summer. Information registered. It's like logging into the Matrix or something. I haven't watched the Matrix. I'm sorry. I might be completely wrong. <laughs> but, hold on just a second. Sorry, I didn't want to make that chair squeak so bad. But, the exciting ranch plan. We're looking for ranchers. Here's something that I don't understand about this. Is this... Are we reading this? There's no sign around, but we're walking around... There's this apparently this big ranch plan thing that we can do that apparently will seems like something good to do because it's not like we have a house or anything. We just walk in, in the middle of nowhere and decide, let's do this for some reason. <laughs> so we decide to run into the town square and then here comes the mayor. Just looking all hmm. You look like you'll do. <laughs> and he runs up to us and decides to tell us what's going on. Well, howdy there! It's good of you to visit! He was waiting for us, apparently, so maybe maybe it's something that he was just thinking about? I'm not sure. I'm Theodore. I'm the mayor of this village. It's a pleasure to meet you. I will let you know ahead of time that the, uh... The dialogue in this game is not necessarily the best in the world. So, uh... What should I... I'll give myself my... Same as my old name. Sorry about that, that was so that I can match up my commentary with my video because I forgot to do that earlier. So our name is going to be Frog. Oh yes, it's Frog, right? First, choose a lot and a house from the following. Okay, so we have three choices. Village center, not a lot of space but convenient. Oceanside, the land is spacious but not fertile. And the riverside is convenient for fishing, but... Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to go with Riverside because I did Oceanside the first time I played through this game and I prefer something different. This is a perfect place for fishing along the river, the land is fertile, and the property is an okay size so it should be possible to raise livestock. Livestock is not something I'm too worried about just yet, but uh, I'll get into that later. We're free to do what we want and we can talk to the villagers. We press the Z button and the ground color changes and I'll explain that later myself. And now we get to name our ranch. So we will call it... What would be a good name? We'll call it... Uh, I'm, well, let's go with a frog theme. Lil... Lily? Is that how you spell Lily? What are these? Oh, just... Okay. Ah, Starheart! star thing there there we go <laughs> so let's just call it uh, we'll just call it Riverside because we're by the river Riverside Ranch oh that that sounds really good actually Riverside and it just barely fit to you register the name Riverside uh-huh that's a good name <laughs> It's already late today, so please rest. I'll show you to your house. Yeah, because I decided to come into town in the middle of the night for some reason also. I don't quite get it. So yeah, that was a really long load time, so I, I, I did get it a little short, and you probably won't notice it, but oh well. This is a used house and already has most items. If, if I'd like to, I can rearrange them. There's a toolbox and a lumber shed and a mailbox and a shipping box, but don't bother telling me how to use that because I didn't want you to tell me anyways, dude. <laughs> so we wave goodbye to him. And now we're in our house. Since it's my first time in the house, I ask if I should move the thing. 
and I will change the furniture around the furniture around because there is a certain way that I like it and I will speed this up for you guys so I'll see you guys in just a second all right so I'm tired today, so maybe I'll get to sleep soon. So now we get to go to sleep. And we get a little bit more of a cutscene again. After about a year's, a year's worth of loading, <laughs> we're finally back in the next cutscene. And here we have the Harvest Goddess, and she's like, people forgot how to appreciate. And everybody's just like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot kind thoughts. The heart to believe. The heart to love. And my existence. Goodbye, everyone. So basically, the Harvest Goddess says that she isn't appreciated enough, so she's gonna kill herself. Not necessarily, but... <laughs> she turns to stone because she says that nobody cares about her. And then these three little guys freak out because they do care about her. And then this person, Jamie, comes up and is like, what has she turned into? Because he, because Jamie doesn't know what stone is. <laughs> what is that that she's turned into? I can't tell. But I'll get you back to normal anyways. <laughs> so then we wake up. And we wait. We, we just sit there and ponder. We had such a strange dream. And we hear a knock at our door, I, th I think, didn't we? I've got the volume on my TV turned down a little bit so that the microphone doesn't pick it up. So I'm not sure if they knocked right there. But it, we noticed something. And so the three little guys from before come up and start dancing around in front. Meanwhile, I just sit there rubbing my eyes. I must still be asleep. And then they dance some more, and then I sit there and I'm just like, Huh. What's all up with all this now? <laughs> what? <laughs> and they're just all like, What? Also, you can see us? <laughs> of course I can. You're right there in front of my house. And they want to ask me a favor. Can you guess what this favor is going to be? <laughs> Yep, they take us to the Harvest Goddess's spring and show us that she has turned into something. What has she turned into? <laughs> She's turned into stone, obviously. So we get this nice spin around shot of the Harvest Goddess with her big puffy cheeks. They look kind of poofy cheeks <laughs> from that camera angle. So we get this slow shot of her turned to stone. That's the Harvest Goddess, but something's happened to her. No, duh. She turned into stone one year ago. So what we did was we had a dream of something that happened a year ago, basically. And they're telling us that we have to collect notes to return her back to normal. Alright. And then Jamie comes along. And the thing about Jamie is... I don't know if Jamie's a he or a she. I say she a lot. But sometimes I'll say he, it just depends. Technically, Jamie is technically the only, the opposite of whatever your character's gender is. But they're always your rival, and you can always marry them. So I think that's technically why they say they're the opposite of what you are. Because I think you have a child with them if you marry them. Even though the game ends. But, spoilers! <laughs> Jamie says that apparently we are the only other person in town that can see these little harvest sprites. Um, she can see them. And I can see them. But Jamie's just all like, stop bugging me, I don't like you. The only reason she turned to stone was because of humans, not because of herself or something. It sounds like she did it to herself, but I'm not sure if that's the case. Because of her little speech before she turned to stone. And then Jamie says that he's gonna rescue her. See, there I go. I just said she, and now I said he. But Jamie's going to be the one to rescue her by doing apparently absolutely nothing. 
I mean, in the course of a whole year. So, it tells us that we do a lot of things to get notes. And they will give us a pedometer. I got a pedometer. A pedometer. I was wondering if I should have said that. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to use the pedometer <laughs> at all. <laughs> but they tell me to do it my best. <laughs> pedometer. <laughs> and then I take a step and I spin around and I raise my hands up in the sky. Lucky I got the first step note. It's difficult to take the first step, no matter what you are doing. The first step of farm life note. Like I said earlier, the dialogue is not necessarily the best part, but this game is still really fun to me. I, I've enjoyed it so much, and this is the game that I did want to play through again this summer, and I'm really glad I was able to get my hands on a capture card as soon as I did. And they're telling me to collect notes and come back here. But I had been having problems with my power supply in my computer, but I'm starting to wonder if it may have just been something blocking my air vent. Because it turns out the power supply fan for my computer is on the bottom of the case. So I just positioned it so that that bottom part was open and everything's fine. So I get back home, you know, at 6 in the morning, and then Ellen shows up. You were the one who signed up for the exciting ranch plan, right? Yep, it's been very exciting so far. And they also run a ranch. See, that house behind her is actually their ranch. I happened to move right beside them. So... Expanding my farm might be a little bit weird, but who cares? She's like, I know this is sudden, but I have a favor to ask. I just came up to your to your yard at 6 in the morning because I want you to take this dog. I don't want it anymore. I think I'd be happier with you. And I'm just like, sure, why not? I'll be a farmer. I'll, uh, if I can't take care of a dog, I, I'll know that I can't take care of a, of a horse. <laughs> Thank you. Note. Music note. <laughs> Why don't you name this little puppy? Alright, so we get a little puppy dog. And I don't know what to name it. I really have no idea what to name it. Uh, what should we name our puppy dog? Puppy dog, puppy dog, puppy dog, puppy dog. Uh, he's got floppy ears. We'll call him Floop. Flop, 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 flop. Yeah, flop. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm naming him? <laughs> I have already said it like five times. Flop. Flop. Floop, 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 flop. Okay. <laughs> we should have named Flop. <laughs> Isn't that great, Flop? You'll be treated well. Yeah, because I can't even come up with a good name for him. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you're watching this, you can suggest names in the comments for me to name animals. Once I get closer to getting the animals, um, I will say something about it and say that I'll start accepting names. So, for this episode, basically, we're going to get our farm ready to go, and that's really about it. We're not going to do any planting today. We're going to get our farm ready to go, and we are going to also uh, introduce ourselves to everybody in town. So, I need to go back inside because I didn't get anything that I needed. But see, like I said, the load times in the actual game are not that bad. It's just when there's a cutscene. So there's my pedometer. <laughs> I'm taking it out, and I'm swapping it out for a hoe. And that's really about it, actually. I'm going to take the axe, too, just because. So what we want to do to start off is... Here's our land. Our land is blue. Common ground, which means land that belongs to nobody, is green. Land that belongs to other people is yellow. I cannot... Okay. So, to clear off your land, what you really want to do is you'll want to pick up these weeds and then throw them. That gets rid... That's one way of getting, getting rid of them. There is another way, but I'm not going to deal with that right now because it uses up more energy. And my energy bar on the bottom right is really low. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and clean up this back little area right here because this is where I'm going to plant my first few crops. 
And like I said, my little bar on the bottom right is really small for right now. Which means I can only do so much. So I'm going to do a little bit of stuff right here. So here's the thing. In Harvest Moon, most people till their land like this. You've got one thing here, one here. It's almost like a square of nine, but then one of the middle ones is left out on one of the sides. Just like uh, this right here. And what this does is it ensures that you can get into the center to water this plant in the middle, because if you did full three, as of right now, I can only water plants in that one square in front of me, and there would be no way for me to get to that middle one to water it. But, I just remembered something that's in this game that I'll go over when I actually plant the seeds, but I think that I might want to do a, uh, a square with a hole in the middle, because I think that not... Uh, I think that that might also work for me. Oh, darn. Darn, 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 darn. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, no, what am I doing? Oh! Okay, you know what? I'm just going to till... Oops. A whole bunch of stuff. And then I'm going to deal with the consequences later. I'm going to fix one of these back to a normal square with my hammer later. But, um... That's really all we can do right now. I'm also going to break this real quick because it's there and I'm just going to go ahead and break it. And that gives us some lumber. But... I think that'll be it for this first episode of Frog Legged Plays Harvest Moon Magical Melody. Thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions or any comments or criticisms or anything at all, let me know in the comments and I will definitely make sure to read them. Not before the next episode because I am going to record the second episode so that we can at least get through the first day. But I will read them and have them probably in time for the third episode. So, make sure to leave any comments, anything you want to tell me about this. If you want to go ahead and come up with some names, you know, feel free to. I can't promise that I will remember them when it comes time to uh, name some animals. But, thank you for watching again. My first episode of Let's Play Harvest Moon Magical Melody. This has been Frog Legged. Thank you guys for watching, and take care. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.